Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page here. You might know that I'm a productivity, budgeting, and frugal cooking expert, but did you know I'm also a little bit of a Costco expert? I've done several TV segments and blog posts about it throughout the year. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the best tips, tricks, and hacks about Costco that you probably had no idea about. Ready for this? Let's go inside. Let me show you a thing or two. Let's do this. The thing about Costco is if you do it right, it can save you a lot of money and help you stock up your food storage and pantry. But if you don't do it right, you could be spending way more money than you need to. And today I'm going to break the myths, tell you how to do it right. In case you're wondering, it is very awkward filming in Costco. There's a lot of people. I'm going to do my best. The first tip I want to share with you about Costco is that do you know you do not necessarily have to have a membership to shop at Costco? It's true. Legally, the pharmacy and even some alcohol product, depending on the state you live in, must be open to the general public and not just paying Costco members. Check the state that you live in, call your local Costco, ask if you can shop at the pharmacy or buy certain alcohol products without a membership, and you very well might be able to. And this is a important to note because the pharmacy is one of the places in Costco where you will find the greatest savings in the entire store. Which also brings me to another tip that a lot of people come to Costco for the food, but the greatest savings you're going to get is in the non-food section of the store, the left side of the store. Food products tend to have a smaller margin. Non-food items tend to have bigger margins, and so most stores will mark up those prices much higher. At Costco, they will never go above a 14% margin, so you will see huge savings on the clothing, the home goods, the decor, kitchen items, cleaning supplies, toilets, garage shelving, and more. So don't just come for the food. Another way that you can shop at Costco without a membership is with a Costco cash card. That's right. Find a friend who's a Costco member, ask them to load a Costco cash card with cash. You can come in and use it in the store like a gift card without needing a membership. So if you like Costco and there are certain things you want to buy here, but it's not worth the investment of a membership because you only buy a few things, the cash card could be a great option for you because you can use it for what you need without the annual membership price. Did you know that there are some secrets to the Costco price tag? They're pretty unique. You see them, you know them, you love them. There's a bit of a code that you should decipher with every price tag. Number one, if you ever see an asterisk like this, that means the item will not be restocked. So if it's something that you like, something that you use a lot, you might want to stock up because this means you will not see it again. Another tip, the standard price tag at Costco is that the price will always end in a nine. You see that pretty much on every aisle, every rack, the price ends in a nine. Well, if a price tag ends in a number that isn't a nine, it most likely means that the local manager marked this particular item down for whatever reason. In this case, maybe they aren't going to restock these rolls. I do notice that it's a smaller palette, so I'm going to take advantage of this not having a nine. If you see a price tag that ends in 97, this is Costco's secret code for clearance. That essentially means that these items are on clearance without it being advertised. In this case, it's most likely because they are at the end of their stock and they want to just get rid of them. So if you see an asterisk combined with a 97, stock up. How do you know if you're really getting the best deal at Costco or if something is worth buying? Well, you know, a lot of it depends on what you use up, what you eat, and where you live. But here are a few tips to help you stay on the right track. Number one, know your prices. I've been preaching this since the dawn of time. It's very important to not just know how much an item costs at Costco, but what you want to look at is this. When you're looking at a price tag at Costco, you really want to focus on on this little area in the bottom left. That is going to be your price per pound, price per ounce, or price per unit. Keep a price notebook and keep track of the price per unit at Costco versus the price per unit at your local grocery store, and you can decide what's worth buying more of to save the money, or if you really are getting a better deal buying it here at Costco. One of my recommendations is if you're going to buy bulk and buy a bigger package of something, make sure it's something that won't go bad on your shelf. For example, these chocolate chips. I highly doubt you're going to need four and a half pounds of chocolate chips in one sitting, but these can be frozen. So this price per ounce is probably a much better deal than what you get at your local grocery store. And since these can be frozen, you could separate this into smaller bags, stick it in your freezer, and this could last you potentially for years, making it worth the investment if it's something you feel like you will go through somewhat regularly. If you don't have a price notebook, start one today. Lucky for you, I sell them in my shop or you can make your own details below. Did you know you can use Costco to get you better prices at places other than Costco? 
Costco. They've got a whole travel section. You can buy vacations through Costco, but simpler than that, gift cards. Come to Costco and look at their gift cards. For example, these Top Golf gift cards, you can get $100 worth of Top Golf for $79.99. If you're going to go have a family night at Top Golf, come to Costco, buy a gift card, and you automatically save yourself $21. Costco operates by an early in, early out system. What that means is exactly how it sounds. They start their seasons much earlier than the average store because when their inventory is gone, it's gone. They're most likely not going to restock it. For example, you'll start seeing Christmas as early as September, lawn furniture and flowers and plants as early as January. Keep that in mind as you shop, knowing that by the time Christmas rolls around, this aisle will probably actually be very empty because it's been out all season. So it is something that you'll want to jump on soon if it's something you need. One of my tips to become a savvy Costco shopper is to notice when you start to see things arrive in the stores so you can anticipate and be ahead of the seasons. So you can grab the best deals at Costco on things that you will need for the upcoming season before they're gone. You just gotta pay attention, you know what I'm saying? Another thing to get familiar with are the coupons. Every month, your local warehouse will run some discounts and sales on items. It can vary a little depending on where you live, but take note of these. You'll start to notice patterns that the same things will pop up on sale, but only every few months. For example, this month, I'm noticing a lot of sales on laundry detergent and cleaning supplies, which is great. For those of us who have kids in diapers or pull-ups, those go on sale too, but you'll start to learn that there's a pattern that they go on sale maybe every two or three months. If it's something you consume and use a lot. It is definitely worth it when those items go on sale for you to buy as many as you can and take note because it will tell you how many you're able to buy, and especially with something like diapers and pull-ups, for example. Buy as many as you can afford and as many as it will let you because they won't go on sale again for another few months. If it's something that you don't feel like you'll use very often, don't go crazy and stock up on it just because it's on sale because it will most likely go back around and be on sale at some point unless it's a more niche or seasonal item. Again, rather than just looking at the final price, always take note of the price per unit, in this case, the price per load on the price tags so that you can do the math and make sure you're getting the best deal. Because sometimes just because a name brand is on sale doesn't mean it's actually a better deal. There might still be an equivalent product that is just a better price even without the sale. Here's something really cool I bet you didn't know about Kirkland brand products. Did you know that the Kirkland brand products are actually made by the name brand? brand guys. Costco doesn't have an acid reducer factory or a battery factory. They contract with the brands that want to be in Costco and they say, great, you can be in Costco, but we also want you to produce our version of the same product. For example, one of the general managers of Costco told me that Prilosec OTC is one of the most common over-the-counter heartburn medicine. They came to Costco wanting to be in the store and Costco said, sure, we'd love to have you, but we want you to make our own Kirkland version of the product and we want you to make it work a little bit faster than yours. And they agreed. So ironically, the Kirkland version of the equivalent product is not only cheaper, but literally works better. So don't be afraid of Kirkland products because the truth is they're made by the same guy, most likely in the exact same factory. The only exception to this rule is the hot dogs. The famous hot dogs that you know and love, Costco does have its own hot dog factory because did you know that Costco's famous $1.50 price for a hot dog and a drink has been that price since the 80s in the US and Canada. And Costco is so determined to not raise their prices, and they were losing so much money on it, that they decided to make their own factory. They produce the hot dogs themselves, which has allowed them to keep the price what it is, and they hope to always keep it at that price indefinitely. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. Another quick money-saving tip is remember to buy in bulk. For example, my kids love goldfish crackers in their school lunch, but just because it's a big box doesn't necessarily mean it's a great price. Costco also provides the exact same product, but truly in bulk. These are three extra large bags that price per ounce are a way better price than you would get at your local grocery store or even the other big box stores. So if I went with this version, I probably wouldn't be saving myself that much money. But by buying the truly bulk version and putting them in baggies myself, we are saving tons of money every year. Another little tidbit you might not know about Costco is that every store is different. The general manager for every store determines the inventory for that particular store. So this cost 
Costco might carry completely different items than a Costco that's only 20 minutes up the road. Also, Costco online is completely different as well. So if you can't find what you need at your own store, call around to stores near you or look online because it could be a totally different experience depending on where you go. Did you know if you buy an item and if it happens to go on sale within 30 days of you buying the item and the price is better than what you paid for it, you can go to the membership desk and they will refund you the difference on that item. So you can always feel secure knowing that if something you buy goes on sale shortly, they'll pay you the difference. You are always entitled to the best deal within 30 days. Yes. One of my Costco tips is if you have a Costco membership and if you do shop there regularly, you might want to look into getting the Costco credit card. It really does save you so much money. Not only do you get cash back from Costco for the amount of money you spend at Costco in a given year, you also accrue cash back for the money you spend on the card anywhere, whether it's at Costco or not. If you have that card and get your cash back, did you know that you do not have to spend your Costco rebate check at Costco? You can go to the membership desk. They will give you cash just like a bank would and you could spend it anywhere you want. Last tip that you probably didn't know is that if you're an active Costco member and you decide to cancel your membership at any time, they will refund your membership in full. I highly recommend not abusing this policy. I could see how people might be tempted to do that. Please don't be that person. But if you do try Costco and you decide you're not using it or getting your money's worth, go to the membership desk. They will give you your money back. Okay, that's enough tips for now. It's getting weird in here. I gotta go check out. Get beside the hot dog. Bonus Costco hack for you. I was checking out at Costco and I asked the employee that was ringing me up and I said, okay, what is one secret that you think people do not know and do not take advantage of at Costco? And he thought for a minute and he said, the optical department. It is the best kept secret at Costco and nobody uses it. Well, that's not true. Costco wouldn't have it if nobody uses it. But he said, not nearly enough people use it because the pricing is so much better than just about any other optical department on earth. If you have glasses, need glasses, wear glasses, check out the Costco optical department. Apparently, it's one of their best kept secrets. There you go. Those are my best tips, tricks, and hacks for shopping at Costco. What are yours? What did I miss? Let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys next Thursday. Until then, talk to you later. Bye. Costco is best. Tasty hot dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.